fishing setup might look like. Whether you're headed down to the coast or doing some fly fishing on a nice river, you can use your billy box to set everything up before you head out. It's of course safe and secure until you get to where you're going. And when you arrive at your destination, you just gotta grab your gear and head on out. You can see here I've got some stuff stored in the lid. So I've got a camping or hunting stool. I've also got a couple of fly rod cases all tucked away, nice and safe from everything else in the box. Our boxes have enough room for a Yeti roadie in there, keep everything nice and cool. A little bit of space left in the back to use the web strike guides and still keep extension cords and jumper cables and other things in the box. Got a tackle box set up over here. And then I have this mainly set up for fly fishing. So I have a compartment with reels and other equipment and supplies. And I've got a wet compartment set up with another pair of divider panels. So net, vest, wading boots, etc. Stuff that will be wet when I come back and I just want to throw it in the truck and get going. I've got a compartment set up for that so I can throw everything in there and won't get other stuff messy or wet. Of course our divider panels also accept belt clip accessories because they have a hem on them. And so I've got a fillet knife there ready to go, hopefully for a nice catch. If you have a rod that breaks down into two or more parts so that the longest piece is five feet or less, you can actually use our V-grips here and prepare that rod and reel and set it up in the box, do up to four rod and reel combos, and transport that in the toolbox ready to go when you get to your destination. Now doing that requires using our shorter divider panels, so I'm going to shoot another video with that setup, but just wanted to give you a little bit of a preview of that here with those V-grips there.